The celebration of the 100th birth anniversary of General Cho Hong Hee, the first president of the ITF, took place with full pomp and ceremony in Pyongyang, the capital of the Taekwondo birthplace. General Cha Hong Hee is the father of Taekwondo and the founder of the ITF. He devoted his whole life to developing the traditional Korean martial art into Taekwondo and distributing it throughout the world. The present ITF president, Mr. Ri Yong Sun, the ITF vice presidents, Grandmaster Hong Ho Hyung and Grandmaster Leong Wai Meng, and other leading staff of the ITF headquarters, representatives of the NGBs of the world, came to Pyongyang in order to take part in the celebration. In the morning of November the 9th, the birthday of General Cho Hong Hee, Mr. Ri Yong Sun, the ITF president and the leading staff of the ITF, the officials and international taekwondo instructors of the Korean Taekwondo Committee, as well as the representatives of the NGBs of the world, placed a floral tribute on the grave of General Cho Hong Hee at the Patriotic Martyr Cemetery. After that, they all watched the documentary on the life of General Choi at the Sci Tech Complex. The documentary titled, He Will Ever Be With The ITF, showed in an impressive way the great efforts and exploits of General Choi, who had devoted his whole life to creating and developing Taekwondo and strengthening the ITF. Mr. Ri Yong Sun, the present ITF president and other ITF staff and NGB representatives recollected the exploits of General Choi and made their firm determination to develop the federation as General Choi had wished. The documentary presentation was followed by the ceremony of awarding the ITF orders, medals and dance certificates to the merited ITF staff and the NGB members. During the days of November the 10th and 11th, there took place in the Taekwondo Palace the intensive training course, on par seminar and done promoting examination for the ITF international instructors according to the plan of the ITF.
On November the 11th, the Taekwondo demonstration was staged in the Taekwondo Palace with co-performance of the Korean Taekwondo Committee team members and the other instructors and practitioners from different NGBs. On November the 12th, the very last day of the celebration, was held the joint friendship meeting of the participants in celebration, the Korean Taekwondo Committee players and the Pyongyang citizens. The DPRK government and the Korean Taekwondo Committee kindly arranged the sightseeing of the monumental edifices and other buildings newly built in Pyongyang for the sake of the guests participating in the 100th birth celebration of General Choi Hong Hee.
Also, the DPRK government entertained the guests to the banquet. The ITF could perform their filial and discipular duty more or less by arranging the 100th birth celebration of General Choi, and on the occasion of this, they reaffirmed their decision to prepare vigorously the distribution and development of Taekwondo as General Choi had wished. The celebration of the 100th birth anniversary of General Choi Hong Yi summed up the historical successes in the creation and development of Taekwondo and the development of ITF with great pride and served as a good momentum for advancing to the bright future. Founder of Taekwondo, under the participation of more than 200 participants across the world, as everybody knows, this celebration took place from this to 13th of November in Pyongyang, DPR Korea, where General Choi rest in peace. On behalf of International Taekwondo Federation, I would like to express my sincere thanks to all the participants, including Grand Masters and Masters. During the celebration, the participants had an honor to pay their respect to General Choi Hong Yi. And through this celebration, I think they fully show their love and loyalty to General Choi Hong Yi. I am sure this celebration duly served to making the friendship and unity among Taekwondo peoples across the world. On this occasion, I would like to express my special thanks to the DPR Korean government and the Korean Taekwondo committee who did their best to make this celebration success. Thank you.